Do you have a, 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 a corporation? Uh, was it an organization rather that helped you or an individual attorney? The, the uh, individual attorney. I had an individual attorney that, that helped me out through um, my trial and then my appeals. Okay. The reason I ask is maybe we can find later on, I'll have you on when you're feeling up to it, to get um, something going for the other guys who are still uh, sitting there in that dungeon. And uh, I, I want to ask you some personal questions. How's your mother doing? Oh, she's doing great. She, <laughs> she, uh, I don't know if she enjoys it, but... I mean, she cooks for me almost every night, and and uh, yeah, I'm I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it. Well, she's a wonderful her, her person, and my, and my dad also. And God bless your parents; they're so wonderful, not only for having produced a hero uh, like yourself, and I know you won't call yourself that, but for standing with you every day of the lives of those five years. I can't imagine the hell they've been through. But uh, they're wonderful, wonderful people, and you're blessed. I'm not going to ask you the next question because it may not be the answer I expect to hear, but is that certain person who was with you in the beginning still there for you? Oh, uh, Shannon? Yeah, Shannon, I talk to her just about every night. Isn't that amazing? She's out there in in California, and that's where she works. And I still keep up with her. You know, uh, like I said, we talk every night, and... uh, uh, but I assume I assume that you no longer have that special relationship. Is that correct? Um, yeah, not like we had, but um, because if I keep this up, you're liable to get tw- if I keep this up, you're liable to get twelve proposals from Savage Nation women listeners who want to uh, you know go out with you. Be careful. <laughs> be, be very. I mean, some of them may be perfect for you. I don't know, but I'm not a matchmaker, Lieutenant Behenna. Be careful with this audience. You never know what they're liable to do for a real conservative man in a world filled with uh, 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 wimps. You know. Right. Anyway, Lieutenant Behenna, this is not a laughing matter, as you know. I try to keep it a little light sometimes. Uh, I just want to conclude by saying Michael Behenna is an American hero. He was, in my opinion, unfairly charged unfairly prosecuted he was put behind bars for five years in leavenworth prison he's out on parole and if you want to help him get his life back on track will you please for god's sakes go to defendmichael.com and make a donation of fifty dollars a hundred dollars two hundred and fifty dollars tell him you'll send them a car or whatever you want to do buy him a house what's the difference many of you have money to burn you don't know what to do with it and all that's going to happen is the government's going to take it from you my, let me let me be the pitch man, Lieutenant Ben. I'll do a good job. <laughs> and by the way, next week when I get back from where I'm traveling, I'm going to link up your website with uh, uh, my website, and so people can make direct donations. Are there any words you'd like to leave uh, with the audience right now, Michael? Yes, there's a um, going back to those guys that are still in Leavenworth. There's a website that the listeners can go to. It's l ten freedomride dot com. Is it L? Did you say L? L ten freedomride dot com. Yes, sir. Thanks L as in the letter. Wait, L as in the letter L, and then the number ten. Yes. Okay, I would advise you, and you should speak to your attorney, to limit the discussion of that incident. I think at this time to just what you said. I don't want to give the individuals who have power over you any power over you that they already don't have. If you follow me. Okay. Um, yeah, but they can go check that out, and they can read each individual story about the the inmates that are in Leavenworth. You know, okay. Website. Okay. I hear you. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, I understand. You're a real, you're a stand up guy. The first thing you want to tell the audience is about the other guys that are that are in there. In your opinion, unfairly prosecuted and and incarcerated. I get it. I hear you. I know. I know what it must be like to to uh, to even uh, to live a day in, in in bondage. I can't imagine it actually. Lieutenant Michael Bano, all I can say for myself and the millions of listeners who have heard about your case, I want to thank you a million for all you've done for this country, for the service to the country, for the service to to, uh, to America, and of course for uh, joining us today in the Savage Nation. Listeners, go to defendmichael.com. And Michael, let's try to get you back on in a week or so and find out how the donations are coming. Okay, that sounds good. God bless you, man. Thanks for being with us. It's 47 minutes after the hour. Uh, You just heard from Lieutenant Michael Behenna after five years in Leavenworth Prison for a crime he didn't commit, in my opinion. It was a miscarriage of justice from the get-go, from my opinion.